Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Click Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Click View learner, and today I will discuss about container Click View object. As the name suggests, that it is a container object, so it contains the other Click View objects. So let's take a scenario to better understand how it works. So the scenario is this: these are the different charts that are currently present in the dashboard. So you have segment chart in March and you have product chain chart, sales manager and rep chain chart and region change. So different charts uh, that you have in the dashboard. So this entire screen or the real estate of the dashboard has been covered by four different charts. But say for example, you have a requirement where you know you want to save the real estate of this dashboard and you want to provide some mechanism to the end user that they should be able to see all of these dashboard but you know some other components also or some other different charts also so let's create a container object and see how you can save uh, the real estate of the dashboard so you right click on the blank space go to new sheet object and click on this container object now you have the different options like uh, uh, existing objects which is present in the general tab the general tab so ch05 the sales manager this chart and wrap change and uh, segment chain chart is here so let's create one by one so we click on add and uh, next is the product change which is present here next is the sales manager and wrap change click here and next is the region change which is here so let's click ok and before we click ok let's let me just take a minute to explain what is this existing objects so this existing objects are basically different types of charts or filters or any other object like this text object that are currently present in our entire document so you see this here is a whole list of different documents I'm sorry the different objects that are present in our document so from these existing objects uh, we have selected these four charts of our interest to explain about the uh, container object so we click OK and uh, we have our this container object displayed over here sorry all right so we have this container object where we see you know we have all of these different charts so like product chain chart which is here the sales manager and rep change region change in margin so now we have all of these chart present in this container and uh, every title is present here uh, by which we can select uh, any of the chart which is having our interest so after we create this we can get rid of uh, this entire section and you click on delete and you click OK so the line is gone let's delete the chart also delete the chart okay all right and to drag this we think we require a caption so let's go to properties and enable the caption and text would be container and this is just a small mechanism to drag it however we can use other option also but that's a simple one so now we have a container object so you can change the size if you want or you know the different dimensions so you see this uh, in this way we have saved a lot of real estate in our dashboard and this real in this saved real estate we can now show the different objects if we if we have some other requirements from the management or you know the end users so pretty simple 
every chart is present here in this object and uh, if there are more than you know four charts like you have 10 or 15 different charts and you want to show each and every chart in this uh, uh, dashboard then it will be a really helpful uh, object to show all of the different charts without using much of the real estate so this is about one of the aspect uh, where container object can be useful um, another scenario can be uh, where you know we have different filters say 15 different filters or 20 different filters that uh, we want to have in our document so for example you have a filter by year filter by month similarly uh, you may have a requirement to show 15 different filters so let's see uh, where we have uh, you know a lot of filters uh-huh okay so seems like we do not have filter so let's create uh, an example for ourselves and uh, see how we can uh, utilize that another aspect okay so for the example sake let's right click on the blank space and select the fields so for example um, we select all of these uh, different fields and I have just hold down the shift key and selecting all of these different fields by down arrow from the keyboard okay so all of these different fields I have selected and I click on add and okay so you see this you know a lot of filters are now currently present because I need them in the dashboard now to show them you know at a different location will be a very messy situation in the dashboard so to have it properly to have it properly in our dashboard uh, we will require the container object in this case so let's see uh, the different use of uh, the container object so let's go to new sheet object again and we have this container object and uh, let's search for the filters we have just showed here okay so here it is again I'm holding down my shift key and pressing the down arrow and I'm selecting all of these different types of filters which I just selected in the dashboard and click add right so okay so here it is the different filters so again to drag it at a proper location let's enable the caption let's say filters okay and now we can remove all of these different filters you yeah. know this is not required at all so delete delete um, we need to adjust this delete 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 um, delete so I'm just pausing it to delete each and every one so that you are not bored with this thing so hold on for a minute all right so I'm back and I have deleted all of the filters and uh, now let me put the container at a right place and as well as my filters okay let me just resize it a bit okay so seems like even I do not need these filters because I have selected over here fiscal year my fiscal month measure revenue or margin like this dashboard metric uh, I think it is an irrelevant in this case but fiscal quarter this is important I can select it and it will change expense budget I think irrelevant and uh, we have expense actual customer special date key 
you know all of the different filters so to show all of the ones I think we need to you know drag it down these filters so you see that different dates and all of the different filters that are currently present so in this way you see how useful this is that so many filters are have been displayed for us in just a simple container box so this is like one of those uh, tricky situation where container object can be useful so this is the main property about the container object that it contains the other click view object however if we look at rest of the other properties uh, by right clicking on container and click on properties uh, they are similar to the other object like in presentation uh, you want to have it as a grid or a single object uh, what kind of a container type you can explore around this uh, so tab on the left currently these tabs are on the left but if you want at some other location like at top or at bottom you can do that so for example uh, let's click on the container go to properties and in presentation say tabs at bottom which makes sense for this chart so I click on each and every chart and this look and feel is far better than having these tabs at the left hand so this is how you can make your chart more professional and filters more professionals so let's go and see some other properties let's quickly review them mm, sorry Need to click on container properties the tab color and background very simple you can go ahead and explore font is again very simple what kind of font you want in the tab so currently it is Thelma and font style is regular size is 8 you can change it according to your requirement simple one layout again uh, uh, very simple you know shadow intensity border width if you need border width on which layer you need bottom layer normal layer top or custom theme maker apply theme uh, very much relevant to your corporate policies for color coding and all conditional show you want to always show this or conditional show this we want to show it conditionally I have explained it, these things in my previous video and very similar to what I have already explained uh, allow move or size allow copy clone uh, if you want other developers to move or resize or uh, copy or clone this container object you enable them so currently they are enabled so that means we were able to move and resize because of this uh, option was enabled so very simple properties uh, you can go ahead and explore uh, nothing much to tell about here again inactive caption what kind of background color text color you need and what kind of uh, color you want when the cap caption is active if caption is long enough and you want to wrap the text enable this and specify the number of lines on which you want a caption very simple so again the x position and y position width and height relevant to the container at which position it is present and what width and height uh, the container is having uh, earlier you saw that we have uh, changed it by dragging the uh, you know side lines or the borders and uh, other is the orientation like caption alignment uh, horizontal you want it left centered or right you can change it according to your requirement and similarly uh, you have some special icons like you want to show menu or copy image to clipboard kind of an app caption you can enable them so because they are not relevant uh, for the uh, container objects that's why they are uh, not checked by default but anytime you can go ahead and do that so similarly you have allow minimize and allow maximize to minimize or maximize the container object so very simple and uh, straightforward options which we have explained in our earlier videos also so you can go ahead and uh, check all of these options according to your requirement but that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss about the container object 
So thank you for watching my video and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.